Welcome back to another video. So as I said in the last video, we're going to be talking about commands and some of the configuration actually about the BSKY block. So first we're going to start off with the configuration. So I'm going to go to my server, plugins, and then bento box, and then add-ons, and then BSKY block, then configuration. Wow, that's a lot of files actually. Okay, now let's go to the top. I'll explain the important stuff, okay? So this is the world name, as you saw, and if you want to see, you can take another look, okay? When I go back to my server, it says bskyblock underscore world, bskyblock underscore world underscore nether. So if you want it to be changed, you can just change this one. And this is the difficulty, it's normal, I think you should leave it on normal this is the distance between the islands and this is 400 blocks okay now on line 42 this is the island to hide from sky from bedrock now i almost said sky block <laughs> from bedrock 120 blocks from bed uh, bedrock okay now this is the max island if you set it to zero or to negative two it means unlimited actually so the player has unlimited islands if you want to set it to a limit you can just type in here three maybe this is the game mode the default one and this is the default biome we'll be talking about biomes in a separate video alone so you don't have to worry about them for the moment okay now a player in game can ban players from coming to his island let us just say someone is abusing hacking maybe he could ban them so the ban limit if it's negative one it means it's unlimited you could set it to a limit but i just think i'll leave it to negative one okay now talking about nether so generate on line 72 if this is untrue it will generate a nether and if it's some faults it will actually turn off the nether and the player will not be allowed to go i'll just leave it untrue and this also creates island if you can set it to false if you want to and this makes a roof to the nether so the nether has like a limit from the top if it makes any sense and this is the same it generates an end word and it generates island and this prevents dragon spawn okay now these are the zombies that will be removed from end and nether okay the big zombie zombie villager wizard and enderman you can actually add some if you want to and this is the flags <coughs> we'll be talking about them in game so do not worry about them and these are the ranks the visitor the cop the trusted the member the sub owner and the owner we'll be talking about them as well and this is more flags and this is more stuff in game actually so okay now here are the Band command for any visitor who's visiting your island maybe if you have it like a warp and he becomes so he cannot use spawner or spawn mob and okay now this is the size the team size so if you have a team of five people maybe uh, you should set this to five not four if you want the players to have larger teams you could just change it and this is the set max set homes i have it on one i think one is the best thing i'll just leave it on one okay now this is the reset limit what does the reset limit mean so how many times can a player reset his island okay if it's a negative one or zero it means it's unlimited but i think you shouldn't leave it on unlimited some people may use it to gain advantages but we'll be talking about any kind of advantages from islands okay now if a player gets kicked he lose he like uh, if a player gets kicked wait we'll actually talk about this down below okay so if a player joins like an island or something if this is on false it means that his money does not reset his inventory does not reset his health resets and hunger resets 
XP does not reset and the ender chest does not reset what if he gets kicked out of a group okay his money doesn't reset inventory doesn't reset health doesn't reset hunger doesn't reset XP doesn't reset ender chest does not reset for me I think you should make this one true actually if he gets kicked out he should get his inventory resetted because it is the easiest thing to abuse actually okay now moving on to the next thing lines 330 when a player logs in for the first time to skyblock okay if this is enabled it will make an island for him automatically okay so let's just say I have this one true and this is the delay it waits like five minutes if he logs out during this five minutes it deletes his his island let us just say i want it on 10 minutes and if he leaves it doesn't delete his island i could just make this on false instead of true really easy but i'll leave it on true and i'll just turn it off anyways and this is the commands that you want if a player joins I'll just leave it empty because I don't think it's helpful really maybe you find it helpful but I do not think so my opinion <laughs> okay now this is set home if you want the player to set home in nether or end you could allow it or make it off and this is the death like it counts how many times a player dies and it has a max rate and I'll just leave it on false because I don't want it to count how many times a player dies and it resets his island if he dies 10 times so I believe it's false but if you do want it on true you can put it on true and this is the max time he, he will, if he dies his island will get resetted you can make it on 20 and yeah this is what you want and if it gets resetted do you want him to have a new island for true or false and yeah that's it and this is when a player joins the team it like reset his discount okay you can choose it if you want to and these are the mobs that are banned from any kind of item uh, island oh said item <laughs> okay the gas the bat and the blades and this is the invincible visitors so these items will not have an effect on them so they do not have falling block they do not take fire they do not take lava damage this plugin is absolutely perfect because if a visitor comes you cannot you cannot trap kill him so yeah this is why i really love this plugin and this is the configuration now we're going to be talking about some in-game commands okay so now we are in game <laughs> first i'm going to be talking about some admin commands and then i'll talk about player commands and i will leave all the permission and the command like list down in the description if you guys need them and I think you'll 100% need them because it's a little bit complicated actually and it did take a while for me to gather these commands so the first one is to delete and add an island I don't know what's wrong today so I type in here slash bsb admin so this is like the command for admin you usually type bsb admin okay now delete island so oops delete and this you can delete a player island and you have to repeat it so this island has been successfully deleted like this is no longer an item actually so i type in here slash island or slash is and i pick an island we found the spot and yep now i'm in my island okay so now this is called oh my god not you again Oh, I hate you okay so now talking about this is called bsb admin register so this let a, lets a player register to the nearest island to another player it's kind of confusing but is i'm already in an island i could just unregister this one Dova Miro. Okay, so you can unregister a player from his island without deleting it. So this is no longer my island 
again <laughs> and I could create other island and I'm going to meet this dumb cow and I will kill it okay I'm tired of you okay <laughs> now for this shows you the limit that a player has bsb admin limit dover mero okay so it shows you the island limits and the limited stuff in my island like the enderman zero out of five hopper and stuff like that every island has its own limits actually for this specific stuff and you can add more and this is the bsb settings so you could think of this as general settings for every single island actually so okay i'll explain what this gui does actually before i get into the flag itself so this is the b sky block settings for the game world and this is the protection when a player is outside the island and this is the expert settings you could have them basic settings but i'll just get this expert and yeah so this is the settings like this one for example challenges this allows like if a player leaves the island for this one he cannot claim a challenge if he finished the challenge you cannot claim it you can disable it or activate it you could read through all of them they are really easy to understand okay now you can actually have a name for an island so this is set name then name Dova. okay so this is my island but wait i hate it i want to reset it type in here island reset name oops island reset reset oh my god what's wrong reset name now it's resetted now a player is abusing your island and he's really annoying to you so what do you do to him you can type in here slash island ban then you type the player name I'm not going to type my name i'm not going to make another island i actually don't think like can i even ban myself yeah <laughs> some sense see it's a good plugin <laughs> now to the next one this is islands at home this sets a home and then configuration as I said there is only one set home so when I open here slash island I go to my island now you could kick a player I don't think it's island kick it's island expel so this kicks a player from your island and this is the island settings like this is for your island actually so like the previous one the first like column maybe is the protection in your island and the settings the general settings and this is the island lock so this is it i have it on expert settings you can have it on basic settings it doesn't so show everything so okay this is the island lock so island right now is allowed for everyone you can just click on it and it's no longer allowed for visitors another click no longer allowed for uh, cope and then another click no longer allowed for trusted people see like really easy to set up now let's go to the advanced settings and this is the protection so this is the protection against any player they are really easy to understand like you could just read through all of them i don't have to go through them because they are simply easy to understand so this is the last thing it is island team and just shows your team as i said i'm going to leave it on four people but you can have it on five people it's all up to you <laughs> so i covered like some of the commands the rest are just actually just flags and the protections so this is most of them but in the next video we'll be talking about challenges and stuff about challenges okay so hopefully this video helps you out and i'll see you in the next video we'll be talking about challenges bye